Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Starflight. So, um, I, uh, I think I've realized, uh, what's going on. Uh, let's go ahead and leave this, although I do want to talk to them. Um, we are at their homeworld. I was mistaken. Sfexi is not their homeworld. Votupatex, or something like that. That's their, their homeworld. But I do want to talk to these guys again, so let's go ahead and do so. Hail, uh, we'll try friendly this time. Too much the enjoyment of meeting again the best alien buddies. Such a happiness, I gush. Indeedy, us is talking a many thing with alien best friend. Uh, alright, so, there's, uh, I think there's more things that I can talk about with them. Let's, uh... uh let's see, yeah, Sacred Planet of Ancients is Sfexi, themselves again. Uh, we gave that back, so you're, you should be happy. So we're going to try to go through this all again and see... Yeah, so we're at Votupatox, not Sfexi. That's, that's my mistake. Uh, and we want to see if they will give us the location of Sexy. Alright, this does seem to be going in order, which is kind of, uh, annoying. Let's do one more time. Okay. Uh, other races... Not even good the not even tasting good the icky blob. Oh, well that's accurate. Yeah, I can understand that. Alright, we'll leave the encounter. Uh the good news is that uh I mean we're we're right here, so we should be able to have them come back. Come on guys. Find me again. I'm not gonna go visit your home world, because that's just not gonna work. So I don't, I don't think you can visit the uh, homeworlds of any of the races. I think what happens is that they there's just like a never-ending swarm of uh, ships. This is Captain Elmandretta of the ISS Britannia. We are on a peaceful mission. Request communications. Please identify yourselves and your intentions. Too much the enjoyment of meeting again the best alien buddies. Such a happiness I gush. Indeedy, us is talking a many thing with alien best friend. Alright, other races. Either one plant and Thrin Scaly Beast is always fight. Thrin Scaly Beast is attacking many time. Yeah, we do need to go talk to them again. Well, we haven't talked to Thrin at all yet. Veloxi had thinking all human would destroy in second wave. Second wave is Ulek and Gazertoid attacking. Ulek is powerful the most. Gazertoid squid meanies is follow behind Ulek as Ulek moving outward from Corward in second wave. First wave attacking was Phlegmac and Numlox races. Waves of attacking I is coming from Corward. First wave are attacking year 3000. No Veloxi is know what Ulek are look like. Ulek is far away outward. Much happiness for cause Veloxi. Black Mac and Numlox is dead the races. Supreme Veloxi is killed. Last battle being 3250 at Flag Mac base at 35 south by 99 east on second planet and handle of axe. Alright, so we'll need to find where this axe is. Um, trying to remember if I saw it. Not sure if we did or not, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll look for it eventually. Uh, of Axe most assuredly. Second planet and handle of Axe. So there's probably only one planet that will really be the handle of the Axe. Okay. Let's just see. Ulek and Gazertoid. Gazertoid Squids is a fanatical stupid. Is think to rid galaxy of air breathers. Veloxi can't believe. Minstrel creature is old almost as Veloxi. They wandering in space and singing the ballads. Veloxi are thinking very strange but harmless. I don't think I've encountered those. Very strange but harmless most definitely. I'd like to find, uh, encounter them just so we can see them. 
Sometimes Veloxia see very strange alien ship. This ship are only communicating occasionally and then not understanding the funny balls. I think we have encountered them. I don't think we've communicated with them. Veloxias think too strange. Other races small important. Veloxi are number one importance. Other races not even knowing prophecy of egg. Barbarian, certainly. Well, can you tell us more about the prophecy of the egg? Veloxi laughing at other races. Not even knowing how to meet an end of life in galaxy like most civilized Veloxi. Hmm? What? Alright, fine. We'll leave the encounter. Alright, so let's uh, wait until they say something again. Uh, I do want to try to find Sfexi, though. Um, now, I do have information about the Great Egg, which I think I might have gotten from them at 192152. So it might be related. We can go take a look. Uh, hail, friendly... All right, anything else you can tell me about other races? No, I think this is cycling through again. Yeah, all right, so Old Empire. Old Empire was try colonize the many planets, always the expanding. They was using drones called Nomad to collecting datas. Many drones. Okay, so the Nomad p uh, probes that we've encountered, uh, I think I encountered one off screen and one on screen. Um, and we heard about a molten world at 149-133, which I think we heard from these guys about as well. Um, I'll see if we can get that up. Uh, so those are all, those are drones from the old empire. All right. Still coming around Veloxi space. Is annoy Veloxi too much? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. In the year 3120, Veloxian Empire was made packed to fight first wave. Wave was attack, Empire first, and Veloxi help. Then when attack is on Veloxi, Grand Lovely Empire not helping. Veloxi is fuming. Maybe we couldn't help. None the information. Veloxi, I not know. Are you still going to say you don't know? Hmm. Alright, what about the Ancients? The most magnificent hexagon is, of course, signed to Veloxi from Ancients of Holy Number 6. Most perfect of all numbers. Of course, Veloxi are six legs. The only race. Alright, Ancients again. Ancients left Veloxi as prophecy of Great Egg. Very important, but certainly only telling to best friends. Well, I am your best friends. I gave you back your focusing stone. Svexi is for... Ah, okay. 132, 165. There we go. 132, 165. We is making you honorary Veloxi. Of course, still the inferior alien, but much better, I think so. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Prophecy of Egg says, Great Egg is travel through galaxy from core to outward. Well, that seems relevant. Seeing you in a while, alligator. All right. All right, so we haven't gotten everything from the old empire, and we haven't gotten everything from uh, the ancients, so let's just hang around here, see if they come back. Hello. Come on, Veloxi. Um, we did get that. Uh, I think they said first planet. There we go. I don't think I had that information. Uh, let's go... Oh, nope, communications. Um, Most harmonious greetings, friends and worshippers of Veloxi Grand Lovely. Let us communicate the every time. Let's, uh, let's be friendly. Best idea I have. We, have. we is exchange the many dirty joke and then too much the laughing activity. Well, that sounds fine. Uh, but we'd like to know more about the old empire. The empire were betraying Veloxi wonderful in first wave attack of Flegmac and Numlox. So when second wave is attack, Veloxi is not helping. And empire is too weak. Empire is destroyed. Too bad. Well, that's kind of rude. Uh, 
In Empire Year 3330, Veloxi and Empire not buddies. Evil nasty Empire pirate naming Harrison is attack Veloxi ship and steal focusing stone. Okay, so that's that's where we got that uh, ellipsoid and we returned it to them. Uh, so that was Harrison. We did hear about him. Veloxi is so angry. Even now Veloxi and not forget. It was quite a while ago. Uh, old Empire? Old Empire pirate was stole precious Veloxi stone. If... Ever returning, Veloxi's too grateful, I think so. Well, I have done that, so, uh, you know. Uh, we as remember ruins of Old Empire being at 34 n north by 28 east on ice planet of downspin system in staff constellation. Have I heard that? Oh, I just saw that uh, at 192.152 we've lost ships, and heard something about a great egg at 192.152. Interesting. Um, Thirty-four north, twenty-eight east. I am not seeing anything there. No, I am not seeing anything about that that I've written down. So let me uh, let me see. Uh, ruins thirty four north. I might have already seen been here, but uh, we'll we could swing by again. Twenty eight east. Uh, ice planet. Downspin system in staff constellation. Okay. Alright, so we got that note noted down. Veloxy exploration is find the long times ago. Alright, that's helpful. In old time, Empire was having base in Veloxi territory at 28 north by 4 east, first planet of yellow system at 143, 115. This planet are forbidden, however. Uh, I believe we have seen that. I guess us is best friend. Perhaps we will eat together the slimy nodules, a many the most delicious. Uh, yes, yes, we could totally do that. Uh, if you say they're delicious. Veloxi is extreme delightful. The old Empire was wiped out. The Empire was many scoundrel activity, too naughty. All right, we've heard about that. So let's go back to the ancients. Prophecy of Egg says, Great Egg, the causing sun of any system where is life to flare. The life is killed, no doubt. Ah, hmm. Seems bad. Okay. Now must go in greatest buddy, Captain Elmendretta. Well, I'm glad you uh, acknowledge me as gr your greatest buddy. We will go ahead and leave the encounter. All right, there's still more things that we want to get out of them. But yeah, so we've heard the Great Egg is at 192.152. Uh, we got a note from Interstell to not that, that ships were lost at that location. And now they're saying um, that it causes the uh, suns to flare. So I think we know what's going on. We probably don't want to go visit that. Too much the enjoyment of meeting again the best buddy, alien buddies. Such a happiness I gush. Indeedy, us is talking a many thing with alien best friend. Indeed. Ancients. Prophecy of the egg, say the great egg is slowly move and driving in front races that trying to escape destruction of great egg. Mmm, so that's the cause of the uh, first and second wave. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you making me, uh, Honorary Veloxi. Prophecy of the Egg say that the Great Egg will destroy all life and galaxy, excepting, of course, Gracious Queen. Yeah, I don't think that's, that's gonna be the case. I think your Queen's gonna die, too. Prophecy is saying, after the Great Egg is destroy all life, it will hatch 
and out is coming XPU, XPU, the old one. XPU is then mating with Queen and making new Veloxi race for Galaxy. Yeah, I think we're going to have to not have that happen, though. According to Prophecy of Egg, the Great Egg is not harming Queen of Veloxi as long as Veloxi is having the small egg. Interesting. We would greatly appreciate... Uh, no. Nope, you don't have any more information. General info. Explorers is finding the many interesting lives on planet in 149-133 system. Veloxi is study. Too interesting, I think so. Okay, I think we had that's yeah one forty nine uh, one thirty three. That's also a molten world there. Certainly, a most perfect number is precisely six. All right, well we've heard that. Yeah, so many minerals is finding on molten planet of one four nine one three three, especially the many at biggest mountains. Minerals is always more at more the mountains, of course you know. All right. I want to try to get some more information out of them, but we've gotten uh, some good information. We know where Sfexi is now, and that's the important thing, because that's what I was looking for. Uh, doo -doo -doo, communications, hail, friendly. Kind of unfortunate that you have to go through a lot of this information over and over again to try to get things. The Ancients is ancestors of Veloxi. Veloxi legend is saying Veloxi is powerful race. Ancients was powerful race. Obviously, us are rel relative. Sure, he say so. Okay, you don't know any more information. We might have gotten all the ancient information out of them. Of course, answering Veloxi probe is by six multiples the yes answer. Okay, well, we've done that already. We are a long time receiving old Empire distress call from system 175194. Of course, Veloxi could carry less. Yeah, we've done that already. Most extreme important system of Veloxi Grand Lovely is guarded by Veloxi drones the most destructive. All must answer in questions correctly. Okay. Uh, interesting lives. Okay, what about statements? What do we got? As representatives of the peoples of Arth, we extend our best wishes and our hope for equitable relations in the future. Is you the alien part of Old Empire? Yes, we are. Captain, they've raised their, their shields. Oh, alright, fine. We'll leave. They didn't like that. Okay, well, we've uh, found out the location of Sfexi, so let's just get out of here. Star map. All right, so we want to go to... Uh, well, first of all, the staff constellation is here, and downspin would probably be this one, this orange one. So we'll swing by that. I'm pretty sure we've been there, but we might not have found this specific location. Um, and just to double check the uh, thing about the nomad pr or the the distress call. No, I don't think it was that one. What did he say? Uh, one seven five one uh ninety four. Okay, I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, we did do that. I was thinking it was the uh, uh Meccans, but no, no, we did do this one. So I don't need to worry about that. Um. Okay. Well. Let's see, Sfexi is 132, 165. Got to go up here. All 
All right, that's there. We could just go up to that. It's a it's a red star. Okay, let's just go up here. Skirt by that uh, nebula. Star map again. All right, we still have a little bit of ways to go. Okay, that's an orange star. That should be it. Hello. We are the most valiant and wonderful drones of Veloxi Empire Grand Lovely. Now we are doing the communicating activity with inferior aliens that trespass. You the aliens trespassing in hours of space. Most gracious grossness of August Queen, perhaps forgiving, if you are paid tribute of three Arth Energy Crystals. Agreeing? Sure. Got plenty. Alright. Statement. Uh, yes, yes, we're totally coming to worship the illustrious queen. Many idea I have. We as exchange the many dirty joke and then the too much laughing activity. All right, let's terminate. And then they raise their shields. Hopefully that doesn't uh, indicate anything bad. Is slightly unstable here. Orbit the planet. All right, let's go ahead and uh, scan it. There's a good amount of amounts of minerals, uh, ammonium and hydrogen atmosphere. Hydrosphere is water. Lithosphere is plutonium, rhodium, and gold. Uh, I think they said it was the first planet. And we are not at the first planet. This is the second planet, I believe. Planet orbit number three. Predominant surface liquid, 0.51 Gs. Density, atmospheric density, very thin. Temperature, subarctic to temperate. Uh, global weather, none. Um, well, we'll go ahead and land. See if there's anything interesting here. Let's go ahead and land right around here. Uh, we will not open the viewport. Okay, disembark. Do we see any ruins around? Nope, just some uh, just some minerals. Some gold. Rodnium. Yep, I don't see any, uh... I don't see any ruins. So we'll just, uh, collect some of this stuff. Okay, um, I'm just going to launch. Let's not open the viewpoint. Confirm launch, yes. Okay, navigator, leave orbit. Yeah, let's go to the first planet. Orbit planet, yes. Unidentified object. Hail friendly. Ah, uh, okay, so we got a drone. 52 is, uh, no. 40 is no. 73 is definitely not. 68 is definitely not. 54 is. 96 is. Uh, permission to orbit granted. Uh, we will go ahead and leave the encounter. There we go. All right, science officer Nancy, let's go ahead and uh, scan this. 100 biomass, 72 minerals. 
Um, analysis. Planet orbit number one, a surface liquid. Wait, actually, sensors, let's do that again, because I ignored it. Uh, atmosphere is oxygen, carbon dioxide. Hydrosphere is water. Lithosphere is plutonium, promethium, and molybdenum. Uh, predominant surface is liquid, 1.25 g's gravity. Atmospheric density, very thin. Temperature, temperate to serene. Global weather, calm. Um, I think we can log this planet. I'm I'm sure that'll be uh, just fine against, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that the Veloxi won't have a problem with this, right? Yes, name of this planet, it is Svexi. Recommendation logged. Let's go ahead and land. Uh, we did not get a location... So let's start with uh, up here. Open viewport. No. Turn on the auto capture. Do we have any... I do not see any ruins around. I'll pick up some of this stuff as long as we are here, because uh, holy cow. Do not see any uh, any ruins. And there isn't enough material. All right, let's uh, embark, disembark. Let's go up this way. Nope, not seeing any uh, anything. These are some creatures. That's a fungoid. Go ahead and take it. There isn't enough room in the terrain vehicle. Well, shucks. We don't really need any creatures, though. Okay, there is a ruin out that way. I might need to come land again, however. Oh, lightning strikes the train injure uh, the train vehicle. Nancy is injured. Oh. We are on reserve and that was not enough. Well, shoot. I didn't think that we used that much. All right. I am going to have to launch. Open viewport. No. Confirm launch. Yes. Well, shucks. Because we cannot do this without a terrain vehicle. Um, leave orbit. Alright, we're going to have to come back here. Uh, I should have figured out where where that was. Alright, well, I kind of know. Alright, star map. If we go straight over, we'll get to... That one, which I think is uh, a little bit too long, although that would take us there. Yeah, no, actually, that's not bad. All right. Let's go up a bit and then over. There we go. Wee. All right, star map. Need to go over a little bit before going down. Yeah, there's the one that we want. Okay, then up we go. At least it's pretty easy to get back there. Mm. 
Let's dock with Starport. That's a little frustrating to have uh, lost our stuff again, but uh, let's go ahead and disembark. Let's see if there's any new messages. Okay, there we go. Sfexi, evaluation. Good work. You have located an optimal planet. You have received... Earned a bonus of 50,000 MUs for this recommendation. Supplemental evaluation. Loss of terrain vehicle. Due to your negligence, your ship is no longer equipped with a terrain vehicle. A new one is currently being installed, for which you are being fined at 10,000 MUs. No new messages. There may not be new messages that can come in at this point. Uh, we are okay there. Did we pick up anything that we wanted to scan? I don't think so. All right, let's go ahead and sell. Sell all of our gold. Um, I think we want to keep some of the molybdenum. Sell 7.5. Sell all of the uh, platinum. Sell the uh, plutonium. I don't think I need that. I don't think I need the rhodium. And promethium, I need to sell... 16.3. There we go. Uh, let's see. Winding orb we want. Uh, I don't think we need the humming gizzy. Although, let me, uh... I don't want to do that. It's not taking up a whole lot of space, though. Yeah, just sell it. There we go. All right, well, uh, when we come back next time, we will... I will have gotten back there. Hopefully this time we won't lose our our lander, because uh, that's kind of silly. Uh, and we will try again to see if we can find whatever is on the planet. See you next time, everyone.